Hey everyone, so on this how-to I'm going to show you how to read your check engine light. Um, so when it comes up when you're driving, um, you know, you've got a fault or you're out in the bush and something's chucking the engine code on and you go into limp home mode, you want to know how to read it and what's going on. So what you want to do is have a small piece of wire and I'll just show you. So is in the diagnostics little cover near the... Uh, manifold there and this is a 1KZ TE motor uh, model of the car is a KZJ 95R so you take the diagnostics off on the inside it's got the little letters to tell you which one's which and what you want to do is bridge TC and E1 I'll say again that's TC and E1 so you bridge that with a small bit of wire just wedge it in there so TC E1 wedge it in there that's with the ignition off And then what you're going to do is, side, make sure your battery is on, uh, fully charged, sorry. Um, turn the ignition on, don't start it. Turn everything else off, so you don't flatten your battery. Uh, and it'll start to flash the check engine light. Um, so, you read the codes by counting the number of flashes on the check engine warning light. The code numbers are displayed as a set of uh, flashes separated by a two and a half second pause. So each of the flashes is a half second flash um, and then there's a one and a half second pause for a further second uh, for a further series of half second flashes flashes. So the first one are your tens and then the second lot of flashes are your units. So for example if it was code 12 it would be one flash, one and a half second pause and then two half second um, flashes. So we'll just wait for the big pause and we'll see what mine's throwing. So we've got one, one, two, three, four, four. So mine's the timing control valve. Well, that doesn't sound cheap to fix. So that'll be the probably the next video of what's going on is uh, fixing that or finding out uh, what's going with that. So that's a pretty easy and simple way of finding out what your check engine uh, codes are doing or what's stored in the ECU. And if you want to, if you've got lots of codes. What it does is it does the first one. So if the lowest, for argument's sake, is 12 and your highest is 35, it will go all through those um, codes with a big two and a half second pause between each um, fault code. And if you're not sure if it, what's doing it, you can disconnect your battery, negative terminal, for a couple of minutes, reconnect it, go for a drive, wait for the check engine light to come on. Once it's come on, you know, you can just turn it off, turn it back on so you can drive home without it in home mode. And then you can isolate which exact fault that was as opposed to having five or six um, fault codes um, on it. and once you're done you just turn the ignition off pull the wire out um, put the cover back on um, and job done thanks very much I uh, hope you enjoyed it hope it's helpful for everyone cheers bye